Hello friends, this video on system of particles and rotational motion part 3 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now we will start our discussion on system of particles. Now how do we study system of particles? As I told you, since any, every object will be made up of so many particles, so I mean there has to be certain concept on the basis of which we can study such system of particles. Now let us look at this. Understanding a system of particles. In order to understand a system of particles, the first concept that has to be understood is the center of mass. So what is the center of mass? Now when I am saying, I mean why is this concept of center of mass? Now when I say that I have some rigid body, let us suppose I have some rigid body, this is a rigid body and I say that it is made up of so many particles. Now every particle will have some mass of its own. Now when I say the mass of the body is m, now where is this mass actually concentrated because some of the particles might have greater mass, some of the particles might have lesser mass. So where is the mass of the body actually concentrated? So the center of mass was a hypothetical concept where it was assumed that center of mass is that point where we assume that the entire mass of the object is concentrated. However, the mass is spread everywhere because the particles are present everywhere. But we assume that the entire mass of the object, let us suppose if I say that the mass of this rigid body is capital M, so we say that this M is concentrated at a point. That point is known as center of mass. So center of mass is that point where the whole mass of the object is supposed to be concentrated. Now, similar to center of mass, there are few other um, terms which all together define a system of particles. That means in order to understand the behavior of a system of particles, that means the motion of a system of particles, there are certain terms which comes into play. The first was center of mass. The second is angular velocity. Next is angular momentum. Then we have something called as torque. And then we have something called moment of inertia. So these things all together helps you to understand a system of particles because now we will be talking about the way we have discussed for a part single particle like what how is the force applied on a single particle related to the motion of the particle we talked about the newton's laws of motion we talked about the equations of motion right for a single particle we had done all those steps so now we will do all those things for a system of particles so for that we will discuss each of these properties of a system of particles so we will start with center of mass then we will talk about angular velocity angular momentum torque and finally moment of inertia so once you understand all these properties or all these characteristics of a system of particles you will be able to define the motion of a system of particles or the motion of a rigid body. So let us start our Thank you. Please visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thank you once again.